Hey there everybody, Mike here coming at you yet again from Badlands Paintball. Well today we're going to be looking at the type of gear that you should have in your gear bag. Uh, so this video is going to be great for new players out there uh, that just want to know what they need to have in more of a tournament based gear bag as well as a little more of a recreational mill sim gear bag. Now I've got a lot of different gear in these particular gear bags. Some of the gear is going to be quite expensive, some of it's going to be a little bit more entry level. Keep in mind for this video, if I'm showing you a paintball gun, I'm saying you need a paintball gun to get started, doesn't mean you need to have specifically that paintball gun. So the same thing is going to go for the mass hoppers, all the individual pieces of gear that I say you need to have, you need to have that type of product, not necessarily that specific product. For anybody looking to get started, in their Milsim paintball career, uh, this is going to be some great gear for you. So the actual gear bag to start it off. You want something durable, okay? You want something that's going to last out there in the paintball field, something that makes you feel awesome. One thing that I look for in a gear bag for a lot of Milsim players or recreational players um, is something you can carry easily. So this particular gear bag here is actually going to come uh, with straps so that you can wear this as a backpack. This is going to be great for those long walks out there to the paintball field, uh, walking through mud and dirt and grime. You have that backpack style set up, it's going to be much easier for you to carry. So I really like that about this particular Condor bag. Uh, so let's open it up here, see what we got going on on the inside. Alright, so right off the bat, we do have our paintball gun. Now depending on the length of your paintball gun, you might actually have to split it. And that's what I've done right here. I've got my Killhouse Omega, I've got the front half there, as well as, or sorry, back half and our front half. So when it comes to choosing your gun, I definitely recommend if you're into Milsim play, getting something that comes with some accessories out of the box, like this Killhouse Weapon Systems Omega, but really look for something that's upgradable for the long run and durable. Now keep in mind, if you're just getting into Milsim paintball, you might also want to consider mag-fed paintball. Uh, so this particular Killhouse Omega is hopper-fed, but you can run a mag-fed platform instead. All you want to do is swap out the hopper that I have in here for spare mag, Magazines, swap out your vest for something that can carry those magazines and you're good to go. But off the start you are going to want to have a pretty cool looking paintball gun like the Killhouse Weapon Systems Omega. I also have another paintball gun here, a secondary. A lot of Millicent players are going to like to have a secondary setup um, and that I chose the Titman TIPX pistol. So we've got the TIPX pistol here. Very, very nice, along with the holster to go with it. Um, I really like to have black for my accessories. Black just really tends to go with pretty well any camo that you choose. So black's a really good base to start with. So we've got our secondary there. We've got our pistol holster. Keep in mind having a primary like the Omega is gonna be a little more important than the secondary, but secondary is a great upgrade. Now let's get on to the serious stuff that you definitely need. Number one most important piece of equipment is a mask, okay? So I've actually got the new Virtue Vio here, paintball mask. I did have it wrapped up in its protective covering here. That's going to be very important for anybody getting a new mask or carrying their mask to and from the field. You definitely want to have protective covering for it. So there's the new Virtue Vio. The reason I chose the Virtue Vio for a great mask to start with for Millicent players, uh, for one is the tons of ventilation that it has. So when you're out there on those paintball fields, uh, out in the bush, it tends to get that much hotter. So very nice for the ventilation. But one thing I like about it is that it's so low profile that it's going to work really well with our tactical helmet. Uh, so this is another really great asset for anybody looking to start off their male sim career. Uh, not only is it nice for protection, but let's be real, it just looks awesome too. Uh, so these are great, great helmets here. You can check out all of our tactical helmets on BadlandsPaintball.com or in our stores. But I definitely recommend picking up a helmet if you're looking to start your male sim career, uh, looking to get it started right. So the nice thing with the Virtue Bio again, is it fits very well with that particular helmet. When you're looking to choose a mask and helmet combination, you're really going to want to make sure they work together. So try your best to try them on, make sure they work together. But I really like the Virtue Vio uh, mask for all sorts of different helmets. Uh, looks like in here I also have a pair of gloves. That's going to be really key. I prefer fingerless gloves, but you can have either full fingered or fingerless. Uh, these Splat Gear Armor gloves are great because they have a lot of protection across the back of the hand, but keep those fingertips open for some dexterity. Next up we have our tank in here, actually wrapped in a Shemog. So these Shemogs are really great for neck protection. You can actually wrap those around your neck multiple times. It's going to provide really great protection, keep some of that sweat off your neck as well too. Uh, these are great. They're essentially just a very lightweight 
scarf that you can wrap around your neck. It definitely works with the overall look of Milsim kits, but also performs really well uh, in terms of protection. Now we have our tank. So this is another example of something that you don't necessarily uh, have to choose this particular tank, but you need a tank. So just like the Killhouse uh, Weapon Systems Omega, you need a paintball gun, you also need a tank. Now I have chosen the Ninja Grey Ghost tank here. I love the Grey Ghost tanks because they're really large. This is a 68 cubic inch, 4500 PSI tank. So they're large enough to shoot through all the paintballs that I might need, but they're nice and lightweight. Because with my Milsim setup, this is actually gonna go on my back with the help of of a remote line. So there's something else that you're going to want to have in your kit is a remote line. Uh, this is actually a straight style remote line, great for putting through clothes and things like that. You can also get coiled remote lines that shrink up much smaller but are a little bit thicker overall because of that coil design. So this is a straight remote line from Killhouse Weapon Systems. That'll work nicely with that tank to actually allow you to attach the tank to your back. Now you're going to attach a tank to your back and carry your extra ammo with a combat vest. Now this is a very nice combat vest just released by Planned Eclipse. I really like it. Uh, the reason I like it so much is it comes with everything you need right off the bat. Uh, so it comes with space for your pods, which I have four of here. I've also got spare pods in the side of the bag. Now I personally generally run four pods, which is what I have in this kit here. But you should always have extras, okay? You are gonna lose pods in the field, so having a few extra on the side is always a great idea. Or you can just stick them in the side pockets there. So when you're a first time player looking for a new vest, I recommend looking for a vest that has a lot of what you require right off the bat. So this particular Eclipse vest is great because it comes with pod holders, space for extras in the front there, and very important, it comes with space for your tank on the back. So that's nice because in one package you've got everything you need. Alternatively, especially if you're running MagFed for example, you can pick up a vest uh, that has absolutely nothing built in, pre-built, more of a Molly style that you can add attachments to as you see fit or of course you could pick a vest that comes with mag pouches right off the bat so it's going to be your choice there but I definitely recommend as a Milsim player to pick yourself up a vest um, a lot of these paintball guns I like that Killhouse Omega just really are craving a remote coil having a tank on the gun is really uncomfortable so if you're running a Milsim setup vest and remote coil is going to be a great option now some other pieces of equipment that you're definitely going to want to have um, are going to be some fatigues. So you've got pants and jerseys. Now, I always say this, if you can help it, if you can only pick one, I always say picking a pair of pants before a jersey. Uh, but if you can get both, this combat uniform is actually great. This is an ATAC style combat uniform. It comes with the jersey and the pants in the same package. So getting yourself a nice jersey there, ATAX is a really, really common style of camo. Absolutely love ATAX. It looks really good with the black as well too. So getting yourself some camo jersey and camo pants, usually a great idea. Always recommend having some spare parts on you, a tool kit, and some grease or oil depending on what your gun requires, okay? This is going to be very important. Paintball guns can go down in the field and having the tools to help fix them is going to be key. Let's check out in the front here. All right, we've got our paintball hopper. Depending on the setup that you're running with, you're gonna definitely need a hopper. I really like a hopper with a force fed design because no matter how fast I pull the trigger, the hopper is gonna keep up. And this particular hopper happens to match the rest of our setup really, really nicely. Also, we have a pair of cleats in here. Now, running an actual cleat isn't that important, but running a good paintball shoe is. I prefer something lightweight, something that has a lot of tread on the bottom. That's what's so great about these HK Army shredders, is they're extremely lightweight, just like a running shoe, but they have those cleats built in. Uh, these come in a nice all black color there to match our Milsim setup, so I really, really like that. Definitely get yourself a pair of paintball shoes specifically. You don't want to be playing paintball on your shoes all day, and then driving home in them as well. So get yourself a pair of paintball shoes or hiking boots of course if you can help it. Now some last pieces of equipment that 
some mill sim players I find don't think that they need, but that's a pair of knee pads and arm guards. I don't care what style of paintball you're playing, you're probably going to be crawling, sliding, diving, or something at some point. Or, of course, if you're gun battling with somebody, you might get hit in the arms, and an arm guard here is a great help in terms of creating some bounces. So definitely, definitely get yourself a pair of knee pads and a pair of arm guards. No doubt they're going to come huge and handy out there on the paintball field. So to quickly sum up our Milsim kit, guys, you are going to want, well, of course, a really great bag. You're going to want to have some camo pants as well as a camo jersey. Make sure you have a pair of shoes to play with in the paintball field. Get yourself some knee pads and arm guards. I cannot stress that enough. Such important piece of equipment. You'll definitely need a hopper out there. You'll definitely want a tank out there. Those will supply your paintball gun. Run a remote line if you can help it with a tactical vest if you're running a Milsim marker like the Killhouse weapon systems Omega and you really want to make sure you have a nice paintball mask that's probably the most important piece of equipment of all of these pieces so definitely have a nice mask and having a cool helmet and of course a sidearm are great items to go with it and don't forget your tools and your toolkit along with your grease or oil all right so for a good speedball setup there's going to be a number of items that you definitely want to have uh, let's start in the side pocket here see what's going on in here so it looks like we start with the feet. So again, guys, a pair of paintball shoes. Uh, so these particular shoes here are the new Exalt Eclipse cleats. Very nice, really lightweight. They actually have removable cleat bottoms, which I really, really like. So having yourself a pair of lightweight, maneuverable shoes are gonna be really important for tournament paintball. I especially find for tournament paintball, getting yourself a pair of shoes that grip, but still allow for pivoting and a lot of range of motion is gonna be very important. You don't want something that when you dig in your toe or you try to pivot, that you're actually gonna stick. You want to be able to grip so you can run, but you want to be able to move. You want to be able to pivot out there. So that's going to be very important. Get yourself a pair of cleats. Next up, a paintball hauler. Do not underestimate this, people. Having a pod hauler is great, especially in tournament paintball when you're shooting a lot of paint. Reloading your paintballs over and over and over and over again gets tiresome. A hauler definitely helps. All right, let's see what's in the bigger compartment here. Ugh. All right, so in the top, what I forgot in the other gear bag is extra batteries and a barrel sock. You wanna have multiple barrel socks and multiple batteries. Do not be the guy at the field who's asking people for batteries. Nobody likes that guy even though we're gonna help you. So make sure you have extra batteries out there, okay? I also have in that particular pocket our tool kit, just like in the other one, grease as well as our tools themselves. So in this gear bag, also very important to have knee pads. Very important to have some arm guards as well too, especially for tournament paintball. I have the very same hopper that I was using in my other kit. It's important to have a force fed hopper, especially for tournament style paintball because you're gonna be shooting a lot of paint. You're gonna be shooting it very, very fast. So you need to have a hopper that can keep up with that. The Virtue Spire can do this, it can do it well. So if you're looking for a great force fed hopper, I can definitely recommend the Virtue Spire. Next up, we have our actual paintball gun here. Definitely a very important piece. Um, I've got the LV-1 here because I just love showing this gun off. So again, everybody, you need to have a force-fed paintball gun or a force-fed hopper and I think a fast shooting paintball gun for speedball, but you definitely don't need to have the most expensive one. So this is the Eclipse LV-1, uh, the Ego LV-1, definitely a top of the line marker out there. You don't need to have an LV-1, but you wanna have something that can keep up with it. So make sure you have a marker that's lightweight, low profile, ambidextrous, something you can shoot a lot of paint fast and accurately. I love the LV-1, the Spire works really, really well with it. So you definitely need to have a paintball gun. Headgear. I just grabbed a toque here because a lot of players use toque. I personally use a bandana, um, but you can also use a, a head wrap, a bandana, a sandana. Uh, there's all sorts of different head options or headgear options that you can wear for speedball. I recommend something low profile and something that's going to provide some protection for your forehead. Speaking of more protection, gloves. Gloves are a great idea for speedball or a scenario ball. I really like these particular gloves because they have very lightweight triggers and some cool textured rubberized grips there on the, on the fingertips themselves. So you're gonna be able to walk that trigger that much easier. 
Really nice, you might actually even get some bounces off these if you get hit in the hand. Bounces are incredible. Anything that you can do to achieve more bounces is a great idea. We have our pod pack here. I usually run a four plus one, uh, or four, sorry, four plus six uh, with this particular one. Um, I usually just run four pods themselves, but the extra straps on here are really great in case you actually want to carry that much more paint out on there. So very, very nice pod pack. This one actually looks like a four plus five. Uh, so very, very nice. Something with support, structured support, and some really nice back padding or grip across the rear and nice wide straps is gonna be key. Next up, we have our paintball mask itself. Uh, so I do have this mask in a bag, uh, the, the V-Force Grill here. Uh, so the V-Force Grill is a very nice mask, nice and low profile, really mean looking, lots of flexible parts on it, so some chances for some bounces there and just great vision. So V-Force Grill, great mask for tournament style paintball. You're gonna wanna get yourself a paintball jersey. Something with extra padding, protection is great, but also bounceability. You'd be surprised with chest padding across how much bounces you're gonna get, or how many bounces you're gonna get, I should say. Now, really nice about speedball jerseys as well is all the ventilation. So you can see the really nice ventilated materials all the way up the side, all the way up underneath the arm, and really nice padding across the arm too. So a nice speedball jersey, very important. And in my opinion, the most important piece of clothing for tournament style paintball is going to be your pants. So getting a nice pair of pants like the new Eclipse Distortion Code pants is going to be a great idea. Uh, the Code pants actually have Kevlar all across the knees, great ventilation throughout the back of that knee and back of that leg, just a ton of protection uh, also in the crotch area which is great. But most importantly, besides that protection and breathability is going to be flexibility. So there's a lot of flexible materials throughout the crotch and a lot across the top of the knee. You wouldn't believe how many pants you rip before you get a nice pair of paintball pants. So if I could recommend any clothing, it would be paintball pants, but make sure you still have that protection from underneath. So to wrap things up for the speedball equipment, you're gonna wanna have a nice pair of paintball pants, get yourself a quality paintball jersey, really, really nice to have. Very important to have protection. So knee pads, Make sure you have some arm guards. You need a force-fed hopper for sure. Protection for your head. Protection for your hands with a pair of gloves. Never hurt anyone. Cleats to make sure that you're running fast out there. Running shoes will do, but cleats are just great. You definitely have to have a pod pack to go along with all the paint that you're gonna be shooting. You've got your mask there. Incredibly important piece of equipment. A paintball hauler to fill all those pods that you have. Focus there, yeah, there's a paintball hauler, and of course your paintball gun. Gonna be very, very important, and to keep that gun running, you've got all of your tools, your grease, your batteries, and of course a barrel sock to keep things safe when you're off the field. So everyone, that sums up the type of paintball gear that you're gonna wanna have in your gear bag if you're looking to get started in the paintball world. That's your milsim or your speedball stuff. If there's anything that you think that you should have to get started that I've missed, definitely make sure you comment below, let me know. If you wanna see any of this gear, head on into any of our eight locations across Canada. We've got a ton of guys and girls in there to be more than willing to help you all out, get you the gear that you need. Now, if you can't make it into any of our stores like I always say check us out at www.badlandspaintball.com great place to check out all the gear that I've shown you here as well as anything else that you might need involving paintball now while you're online check us out on Facebook and Twitter we're also on Instagram now as you might already know at Badlands PB so make sure you check us out there and you're already watching this YouTube video I much appreciate it everybody make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down there if you enjoyed this video and if it helped you out and like I mentioned earlier make sure you comment below let me know if you like this video let me know if you think there's anything that I could have added to get people started in paintball and let me know what you want to see in the future for videos okay everyone so again hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you have a better idea of what to start with for speedball what to start with for a little bit more of a mill sim setup and I just really hope that you guys get out there and play so that's the most important thing get a paintball mask on get a paintball gun in your hands and go on out there and play some paintball see you guys next week